Hi guys, so welcome back to yet another video and today we're going to do a deep clean for the kitchen uh, Sorry about that. It's my boy. Uh, today we're going to do a deep clean for the kitchen I feel like I have neglected my kitchen for a while now. So I'm going to start up with uh, wiping up the cabinets the, the cupboards Yeah and my baby wants to be in the video. I'll start up by cleaning up the cupboards, then I'll be arranging what I'm supposed to arrange back. But most of it will be staying empty because I want to uh, put in the medicine for the cockroaches. I've seen a few cockroaches around here, so right after cleaning. Then tomorrow I'll be wiping and uh, putting back uh, some of the items that belonged in those particular places. And guys, please, when you're commenting, please try to be as kind and as sweet as possible in your comments. Sometimes back, someone asked me if I was filming from the to toilet. Guys, does this look like a toilet to you? Does it look like a toilet to you? Hmm? Don't be offensive, please. Just try to be nice. And if you're feeling negative, please don't come today. Just take a rest and come back when you're feeling positive. Yes. So let's get straight into it. So... And my son wants to say hi. Where, Baba? Where? Yes. So, guys, I'm wondering why this person was asking if I'm in the toilet. Yet, you can see this refrigerator right next to me. Can you have a fridge in the toilet, guys? Do you keep a fridge in the toilet in your place? Do you? Yeah. And I know probably the wall looks like a toilet in some houses or maybe where you come from. But, oh, God, it's a kitchen. Yes, yeah, so let's go straight into the video, my and guys just tell me down below if you ever find items on top of your refrigerator just look at this i don't know what a comb is doing over here but in one way or the other uh, sometimes they get misplaced so i'm just going to make sure that everything is in the right place i'm gonna take this from down away i also have a few bags and guys i also have toothbrush and some old toothpaste that i'm just going to dispose yeah, and also this toothbrush we have used it for so long i'm just gonna throw it away or i'll probably use it for my ages once i start braiding my hair but i don't think that is the right time so i'm just going to dispose it now so i also have this that even the toys for my baby the remote control for our woofer guys and just see a cockroach uh, if you can see a cockroach this is a drug that I'm going to use for the cockroaches. It's called the green leaf. Guys, this... this yes. Guys, this powder is very, very effective in killing cockroaches. So I'm just going to put it on. And I think I have still three of them. I'll be looking for more. Yeah, I think even one of them is here inside the cupboard. So once I get them, I'm going to put this. And guys, the cockroaches will be done. In two days, it will be done. And if you want it to really work effectively, you just put it there, uh, give it some time to stay, don't be in a hurry to wipe it up, and then, yeah, it really kills the cockroaches slowly. So, let's get started with the cleaning. Guys, just look at that. I tried to put a bit of uh, that powder for killing the cockroaches the night before just ahead of the cleaning but I still feel like it's not 100% uh, uh, done with the cockroaches because I can still see some that are hiding up here I don't know if you can see it this one there's a cockroach here and I don't think it's dead yeah so let's get to the cleaning
where the lead of this thing went to. I'm yet to look for it, so I'll just do this for now so that I don't I I look for it later on. So I am just setting things aside to give me space for uh, cleaning. I'm putting away everything that can get spoiled by too much uh, maybe water or just the cockroach thing. So I'm just putting them aside so that I get to clean it easily. Mm. Seems to hold me like you do mm -hmm. You're so wonderful A star could never shine as bright as you mm -hmm. Even the dark they still see light Even the birds still sing at night Every word just comes out right When I'm with you, with you I feel so lucky I met you and I still um, can't believe that I get to see those eyes from more than tonight. Swear you must have fell from the sky and I feel um, so lucky I met you. It's not magical the way I feel when you walk in the room. Mm. When you walk in the room, it's not optional. It's not optional. How gravity. Pulls me right to you, to you. Mm -mm. Even the dark, they still see light. Even the birds still sing at night. Every word just comes out right when I'm with you, with you. I feel so lucky I met you, and I still mm, can't believe that I get to see those eyes from more than tonight. Swear you must have fell from the sky And I feel mm, so lucky I met you Spent my whole life waiting for someone like you, baby And all these broken roses led to you Spent my whole life waiting for someone like you, baby And all these broken roses led to you I feel so lucky I met you and I still mm, can't believe that I get to see those eyes from more than tonight. Swear you must have fell from the sky and I feel mm, so lucky I met you. and it looks really nice we're done with both the two shelves and that is the outcome I was so happy with this so I'm just going ahead to check where I put the lid for this thing for sugar I don't know where it is I'm just gonna look for it and that's it guys I have that that green small tin that uh, I put my matchboxes inside because I tend to misplace them a lot so I do use that it helps me to just uh, know where my lid is all the time
Guys, I'm saying if you live in Kenya, uh, you know the prices of onions skyrocketed. So I don't play with onions nowadays. I use the smallest amount I can, provided I just put an onion. It doesn't have to be or that big. I mean, yeah. So I've just gone in with a small onion. Small onion. And guys, I'm trying of uh, talking during the video rather than uh, doing voiceovers. Yeah, because I feel like uh, the few times that I've tried to do uh, talking as I do the video, just doing everything at once, it has been way easier when I'm editing. Because I have a small baby, so sometimes you are set to edit, you don't have any other time, I'm done the time when the baby is screaming at the top of his voice. Then now you end up not editing your video on time. I stay up all night uh, because now when I'm alone, I'm not able to concentrate. When people are sleeping, and also I have people that I'm hosting that are sleeping in the living area, so I have to go to the bedroom. And editing in the bed is a bit difficult. So this this is why today I'm talking a lot when I'm doing the video. And once our onion has grown up enough, I'm just gonna go in with the tomatoes. And I don't think I'm going to put in any spice. I have black pepper, which was really nice in uh, Chelewaru, but it has just run out, and my baby was putting ink on this. I've run out of my black pepper, but it was really nice. So let me go in with the tomatoes. My baby is here. Ma. Yes, Baba. Yes. For the water to boil a little bit, then I go in the rice. I have washed it. I'm actually cooking it. It's 
in a while and then this one too which I have used a little bit but also I think it's about uh, the color issue I always feel like managing this one is easy even washing it but for this it looks like white you have to like really color and clean it you know? so it's a bit of a problem for me. and this is how we are doing yes, I don't like spices in my food but my I realize my hubby loves uh, food with spices so nowadays we do a bit of mixed spices and then we do a bit of black pepper, the one I showed you guys, but it has run out, so I don't know if I have money and buy it. Uh, maybe by end of this month I'm shopping and I'm going to the market. Yeah, and then I just go, go, went in with salt and a bit of uh, green pepper. I'll be putting in the rice once it boils. I'm going to go in with salt and a bit of Sinking through quicksand 